Welcome everyone on board of Sparky 7. Sparky Linux has been my favorite Debian distribution since a long time. They focused on Openbox, my favorite window manager, for a long time, but now they are expanded to LXQT, Mate, XFCE, and KDE. But it's still my love for Openbox and for Minimal GUI has led me all the time to check all the time what Sparky Linux has offered for us, especially on the low end PC range. So first here I have behind me, I have this very beautiful wallpaper, Sparky 7 on board, and I am inside the installer, the live installer, and we'll try to install Sparky 7 and see what is inside. So let us start. So here I double click Sparky installer. So we go for the identity is live and the password is live in case you don't know. I press OK. Let me expand it. The font is not rendered correctly. And that's it. So we are now inside the Calamaris installer. So we click next. And the region, we have this region, New York. Default is English and default no problem we go for erase disk no swap you can put the swap if you want there is swap no hibernate with hibernate or to file depending on which one you like or also you have an option for the manual partitioning if you want let us go for next the full name that we call it sparky Sparky virtual box, no problem, name of the computer, password, we'll also put a very bad password, don't do that, let me log in automatically, no, use the same password for administration, yes, and it gives me all the summary, MS-DOS partition, 20 gigabyte, divided EXT4, so we are in EXT4, and we go for installation so now is installing it tells me it takes between 15 to 30 minutes let it finish installation and we'll come back when it's finished so it is finished i think it took around 10 minutes to finish sparky linux 7 orient 7 has been installed restart now let us restart Okay, so Sparky Linux loading 6.1, so we are in Debian Bookworm, Sparky, and we put the password. So that's it. Let me change the resolution. Excellent, that's 1920 by 1080. Okay, don't show this again. We need to fix the wallpaper. Let us fix it by right click and wallpaper, nitrogen. They have nitrogen, so let us pick. Let me pick this one, apply. They have a lot of wallpapers we can choose from and of course all of them they have this Sparky Linux logo on each of these. You can pick whichever you like. So looking first we have this Tint2, Tint2 panel. Of course with open box you'll have always the Tint2 panel, it is the best you can have. And we have a, another icon here for instead of the start menu, we have the applications. It gives me all the applications. This is a YAD GUI. It's a simple GUI so that you can have them play, planned like this. Or you can use also the menu that comes with open box. So either this case or the other. But here you have all the applications that are available here. 
the other thing here is the file manager the file manager here is PC man FM and for the terminal we have this terminal which is LX terminal if I want to check how much we are using we are using around 650 megabytes of RAM I don't know why it is like this but it's a little bit high it's a little bit on the high side so that's for the terminal and another thing here is G exec if you want to run any application let's say I want to run PC man FM I can run it or maybe if we want to run it as root press ok it doesn't work because JKS, JKSU no such file or directory many pro there are many things concerning JKSU it was removed in uh, many uh, two years ago because of some vulner vulnerability and here in Sparky they use uh, an, a, a replacement for JKSU it is SPSU Sparky SU I don't know why they did not change it here so that you can use also gxec as run as root but in either case that's the case if I want to look at the opconf open box configuration if you notice here they have their own theme these are the themes for open box by the way the the theme that I use all the time in my which I stole from Sparky Linux is Sparky 5 Sparky 5 is a very nice theme it's a very nice very nice theme to use and you can see here from the also from the title the font and all of this it is a very clean one there's also let me choose the sparky 6 sparky 6 is just uh, to tell you something this is sparky 6 and sparky 7 and sparky 5 they are not working on the menu because this is not the true open box menu this is jg menu that's why it did not change with the theme they should if they want to use jg menu it should also go with the theme the theme for sparky 6 this is the theme for sparky 6 i don't have the color that sparky 6 has for the menu so that's a negative side for sparky linux or they could have used on the right click they could have used the normal open box menu not the jg menu although many i'd like to use jg menu because it has a search button so directly you can search for some things let's say mouse pad so directly you can go to your application directly from the menu the classical open box menu doesn't have this one so there is some compensation you want to use the theme but you have to make uh, make sure that the menu also should change with with the theme that you choose in either case i use this sparky 5 in my open box theming it's a very nice theme and it seems sparky 6 has been white or light and sparky 7 returned to the dark theme they are very relatively similar sparky 5 and sparky 7 but the others they are default ones that come with open box so this is for open box configuration looking now at the applications we have about uh, sparky linux advanced network configuration there is this very nice and also one of the flagships of sparky linux is this aptus app center let me click it i'll put the password okay so that's it there is the applications here the aptus if you want to check for let's say for desktops if you want to install some desktop environments you have awesome bswm budgie cde cinnamon and notice how many we have how many desktop environments we have 
there's some things I did not know about they are available here like UK UI or sugar these are maybe very old Lumina also Draco all this list which is impressive so these things you might be tempted to try so you can install the Aptos App Center and see what what you will have we have also the applications there's the accessories edu science internet security system multimedia all of them are divided like this and you can search for whichever it went out and we can search for here let's say i want to search for Caden live It gives me all the things that are related to Caden Live. So we have Caden Live Lightworks is shortcut available here. There is also shortcut. Let us check the shortcut version. I don't like it when you click it, it, it stops or it hides. So they are telling us it is version 23.05.14 which is 14.5.2023 it's relatively a new one bearing in mind that the, 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 the updated version is this month was done this month but reasonably it is it's not bad so you can install it exit and the reason why Aptos is very uh, well uh, put and all of these are available is that also they have their own, their own uh, repos if you look at the repos for spark linux they have a lot of repos and sometimes they are that dot deb files so directly you can uh, install them maybe not on sparky linux maybe on another debian or ubuntu based distribution but if you notice here we have all of the things that are related youtube dl gui youtube dl shortcut there's open shot also uh, it is really nice but i did, didn't like how it look when i put search directly it goes out and it makes the search so that's it let me exit and we come back here so we have the customized look and feel this is the Alex appearance I don't like the font but it is good for the for YouTube to have this big font where it is this one so we have Sparky 7 the font the color let me put cancel this one there's the icon theme Tela and Tela Dark you can put Tela Dark for example I think they are the same okay mouse cursor font and other let me close what else we can see also there is pc man fm firefox that is the extended support release firewall and as i talked to you this is the jg menu it's a nice jg menu we'll talk about it right now for the system upgrade let me click it and check how it does it so need to get 6786 six of our drives after this operation 214 so there's only around 6.8 megabytes of archives there is upgrade and change log if i press change log let's see what's what will happen it tell me all about the things that need to be changed so i press ok and then you can upgrade if you want or not let me close it i don't want to upgrade there is time shift into there's not much programs as i told you this is a minimum minimal gui installation so we don't have any other programs but of course you can have all these programs that you want especially using aptos for users who don't know much about the terminal you can use aptos so guys uh, this is the this was a very quick illustration on sparky 7 on all the things that they have the remarkable thing about them is the aptus 
uh, application center which they have in their own repos most of them so that you can install some desktop environments or some software you never heard of because they're always updating this uh, center this software center through with applications that sometimes they are not used anymore but you can find them here in sparky 7. the other thing about sparky 7 is with debian bookworm you have a newer kernel and a lot of other goodies that are also in included in uh, in here and not to mention jg menu which is also a very interesting menu so that you can search directly inside the menu which is a very big improvement on the classical menu which is found in open box so that's it guys and we will be back in another video